for driving me to coffee. See how we go, huh? Eh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thought it was a toxin when I first got it. <laughs> you do look big in this car, though, I must yeah. admit. Hopefully I can get a seat in the phone next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you around here? Ask about, yeah. Okay. So it's all footy boys? Yeah. Just so good. how does that work? Like, who cooks, who cleans? No, nah, it works all right. Like, we just sort of rotate the cooking. When our case is done, his knee will be a bit different. We'll have to babysit him, so. Yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to be Nurse Paddy? So there we go. I gotta, I'm going to get his bed and bring it downstairs because we live in a two-story house. So oh, okay. It's going to be tricky for him. Yeah. I'm not showering him. That's one thing for sure. Is it hard being away from your family? Um, oh, sometimes it is, but I want to boarding school when I was 12 so okay you sort of get over the homesickness pretty young yeah like it's definitely sometimes you sort of wish you're around them but at the same time it's Melbourne's a pretty pretty awesome place to live mm. a lot going on so is yeah, it what is it about the farm that you like uh it's you're just free like it, you sort of wake up in the morning no traffic or anything yeah. go out and you can sort of you can just relax like I like doing the, the farm work but there's just things out there I like we're close to the beach so just being a country boy, yeah, having uh, the space, I guess, is really nice. Yeah, and you can just go at night and go for a drive around the farm and maybe go camping a fair bit on the mm. beach. Go camping on the beach a fair bit, which is nice. And so you've got two brothers, right? Yeah. So your poor mum has three boys. Yeah, she's sort of the... She's, done she's bloody, the queen of the castle, She's done right? well, yeah. yeah. Take my hat off to her. It's, sometimes it's not easy when she's surrounded by boys, but... So mum and dad used to be like really good horse riders back in the day. So oh. yeah, I'll, I'll give him a bit of flack about that. But do you horse ride? No, nah, I got a one when I was nine, and um, it was a polo cross horse. And I was dad was leading me around. I was like, I got this, dad. I got this. Oh, anyway, he, so he let it go, nine, yeah. and it just bolted on me. So he goes, pull the reins, pull the reins. It's gone up and I reared up. And I got no idea what I'm doing. No helmet on. <laughs> anyway, it's like with a polo cross horse, when you pull the reins and let it go, mm -hmm. it, uh, that's a signal for it to bolt. So within, oh, five, no. within five strides, it's bolting. And I've taken me, I've taken my leg out of the stirrup, gone over the front of the horse, which is like, Mum still doesn't know I didn't die this to this day. Anyway, I've gone out the front of the horse, and my foot nearly got caught in the stirrup. Oh, so you almost got dragged yeah, along. Yeah, and then I've jumped off and rolled my ankle, and oh. but I was flat that day because it was the Easter weekend. We're down at um, Quindanny, which is south of Perth, and yeah. it, I used to be quick when I was a kid. Funnily enough, something must really? have gone wrong when I was <laughs> got a bit older, but. Um, there was a running race and for each age group and when oh, you no. and the person that won I got an Easter bunny so I was pretty confident I was gonna win so I was flat after. So you've never been on a horse since or no. no. Do you still chat to Juddy? Yeah I'll catch up with him. I text him every now and then. Not not flat out but um, mm. we'll catch up for a coffee every two to three months sort of Touch um, base. Touch base and um, I still like to oh, he's, he's he's a ripper fella, which um, Yeah. He's a champion bloke, but he's yeah, he's still a good mentor. Like, mm. If I have questions about things, he's the best person to ask because he's done it all. So, test out your parking skills. Oh yeah, don't that's one thing you learn over here: parallel parking. Oh, see so in, in Perth, you just don't parallel fine. park at all. So how do you go with like a reverse park? Nah, I'm alright. I really wish you'd had to do one. Nah, no, I'm, I'm alright at it now. Oh really? I, yeah, first year I was a bit, a bit all over the shop. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that um, there's a few little blonde hairs on your, your jumper. What's going on there? Yeah, so you've got a Kelpie Cross Ridgeback called Big Ronnie. So, um, Is his official name Big Ronnie? Ronnie, Ronnie. Ronald. Okay, Ronald. Yeah, he's, um, he's about five or six months old now, so um, he's going well. He's grown a lot since I first got him, but he's good. He's sort of, it's always good to get over and train, take him for a walk and get out and about. And, yeah. Uh, have a chat to, to, to some old ladies down at the park, which is always good. What coffee did you order? Got a skinny flat white. You've got to look after skin folds, but extra hot. So, so you've settled into Melbourne life pretty well. Yeah, then. I've sort of lost the plot really. <laughs> uh, the old man will <laughs> give me a clip around the ears, but now I've got to have my coffee extra hot, otherwise I drink it too quick. Yeah, and just usually, one gulp. I've actually got another sort of thing. I, I like to have it in a takeaway cup usually. So if I, I'll go to a cafe and I'll sit down and I'll get it in a takeaway Why? cup. I just like it better. And, you got that little hole at the top, so it makes you drink it slower as well. Well, why yeah. can't you just tell yourself, okay, I'm going to drink this slowly? I don't what? know. Like I, I just, I've always liked sort of takeaway cups, so... That I'll, is I'll so... And, that's a bit Rain Man. I'll just go into the cafe and I'm like, do you want a coffee? I'm like, yeah, can I get a skinny flat white extra hot in a takeaway <laughs> cup with white sugar flakes? <laughs> got that? Got that sorted? <laughs> Thank you. Extra hot? That's the one. <laughs> Look at that. 
like in terms of road trips, because we were talking before about the Nullarbor. Yeah. Are you going to do that? It'll be something I'll do eventually. I'd love to actually travel around Australia, drive around Australia yeah. one day. Um, sort of camp and sort of have a camp trailer and sort of do that, but don't think that'll be for a while. Yeah. Um, just a... My, in the Hyundai. My, 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 yeah, in the Hyundai, the old Tucson, not the Tucson. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if I ever do the Nullarbor. I reckon I'm more... If I did it, I'd probably go down the coast through South Australia yeah. and through the bottom of it and um, down through the bottom of WA through Esperance and sort of that area, but we'll wait and see. Next time you go on a road trip, you have to take me along. Yeah, the old four-day road trip. The old nice. four-day road trip in the Hyundai, there? yeah. Well, thanks for having me anyway, and cheers. No worries, thank you. Cheers to your skinny, hot, flat, flat white, white with one sugar in take, a takeaway cup. That's all right.